dear friends, this is Raj Shrekar from our Sai Mehta Coaching Center. This video is specially for KPTCL aspirants, KPTCL assistant engineers and junior engineers. In that, electrical machines is the highly weighted subject. There is a 100% question in our examination on EMF equation. This may be EMF equation of transformer, EMF equation of DC machine and EMF equation of synchronous machine. Even in that, EMF equation of synchronous machine is very important. Let's see the EMF equation of an alternator. I think this is a very easy topic for you people I know. But let's try to see once what I am explaining in my way. Okay guys, are you ready? You have to respond if you are uh, like a, with your comments. I will ask you questions, okay? So first of all, can you tell me what is E maximum per conductor? E maximum per conductor is equals to how much? I think you know very well about EMF equation of synchronous machine. I want answer for E maximum per conductor. Can you tell me? What is the value? 4.44 pi f n k p k d is it? 4.44 pi f t k p k d is it? Let's see. Let's see. What is the E maximum per conductor I want? Okay. Let's see the EMF equation of alternator. So generally EMF E is directly proportional to d phi by dt rate of change of flux. Of course, n into d phi by dt, here n means tons, but I will take t here in terms of tons, tons nothing but t. Just see here, EMF simply E is equals to n into d phi by dt. Here d phi nothing but, d phi nothing but, the average flux, the average flux. Generally, this d phi is equals to p times of the phi for p poles. For P number of poles, the average flux for P number of poles, the average flux D phi is equals to P phi because 1 pole 5 Webers, P poles, P into 5 Webers. Okay, this D phi is equals to P phi. Then after DT is the time to complete one revolution. Time to complete one revolution. Then tell me, to complete one revolution, how much time it will take? Very simple, generally we know n revolutions per minute, n revolutions per 60 seconds, n RPM. Then, then one revolution for how much time? So, for one revolution, the time taken is cross multiplication, 60 out of n seconds. This is what dt and this is what d5. Now calculate the EMF, E average per conductor, E average per conductor value this is, E average per conductor is equals to D5, D5 nothing but P5 upon, P5 upon 60 out of N. So simply what is the value? P5 N by 60 this is what the basic EMF value, E average per conductor. So now I got a E average per conductor. Now once uh, see here, E average per conductor is equals to, is equals to P phi N. N nothing but 120 F by P. We know that the speed out of 60, 60 once, 60 twice. P, P gets cancelled. So, this can be written as E average per conductor is equals to E average per conductor is equals to 2 pi F. This is what E average per conductor. This is same even in our DC machines. But uh, in different way that's it. Okay. So, whatever E average per conductor is equals to 2 pi F. For example, I want E, E, RMS per conductor. E, RMS per conductor is equals to, for a sinusoidal wave, we know that RMS out of average is equals to 
1.11 from this equation if you want rms multiply average with 1.11 yes or no guys yes or no so tell me so e rms per conductor is equals to how much give me comment yeah yes very good its value 2.22 pi f this is what e rms per conductor for example i want e rms per ton e rms per ton not conductor so see here for example see here this is my ton this is my ton my ton having two conductors my ton having two conductors every ton having two conductors every ton having two conductors nothing but z is equals to 2t yes sir no guys I think you are thinking that T is equal to 2 Z sir. This is not correct sir. Every turn having two conductors nothing but every turn having two conductors nothing but Z is equal to 2 T. Once check it for example. I have a one turn. Substitute T is equal to 1. T is equal to 1. 2 1s are 2. So number of conductors are 2. If you substitute T is equal to 1 here. If T is equal to 1 then Z is equal to 1 by 2. That is a mistake. Okay, so so for every conductor, sorry, for every turn we have a two conductors. Mathematically, Z is equals to two T. So in the place of conductors, we can write as two times of turns. Two times of turns is equals to this is the formula two point two two pi F. What I written? Just in the place of conductor, I written two times of turns. But now I want that only E R M S per ton. Bring this two here, multiplied with the two. If you multiply with the two, its value is that. Its value is that four point four four five F. This is what exactly E R M S per ton. E R M S per ton. If you want only E R M S, only E R M S. Then E RMS is equals to 4.44 pi F T. 4.44 pi F T. This is what the E RMS value. If you want, this is the total E RMS value. If you want only for one phase, E RMS per phase. E RMS per phase is equals to 4.44 into pi into f into tons per phase. If this is total ERMS, you have to take total number of tons. For example, in my alternator, I have a 300 tons. That 300 tons belongs to three phases. So if you want total ERMS, you have to take T is equals to 300. If you want ERMS for single phase, for one phase, you have to take only here. For one phase, how many? For one phase, the 100 number of tons are there. You have to place 100 here. This is simply what the E R M S per phase. This is E R M S per phase. So, of course, we written all the things. But what is uh, my question initially? I want E, e maximum per conductor. So, E maximum per conductor is equals to, E maximum per conductor is equals to, can you tell me? E average per conductor, E RMS per conductor, then E maximum per conductor. Yeah, its value maximum by RMS for a sinusoidal, maximum by RMS is equals to root 2. So, maximum is equals to RMS into root 2. RMS into root 2. That's the value gives you here. 2.22 pi f into root 2. What is root 2 value? 1.4. Yes or no? 1.414. If you calculate it, its value 3.14 into pi into f. This is the E maximum per conductor. 3.14 is the pi. Pi, pi, f also they may give you. Like a simple question. They asked. 
I think we are not heard about that. Generally, we know ERMS. That is not enough. You have to know every point. EMF equation, nothing but not only this point. They will ask you is own where number of questions. Right? So, so generally, EMF equation, nothing but 4.44 into 5 into F into That is not enough. How the EMF equation came, the concept is important. Then after whatever they asked you question, you can do the answer now. Now, you know E average per conductor, E RMS per conductor, E RMS per ton, total E RMS, E RMS per phase. What I given you only in RMS, you can convert into E maximum also everything. What is E maximum per ton? E maximum per ton nothing but into root 2. That's it. Because maximum is equal to RMS into root 2. That's it. So tell me, for example, they asked you a question, E maximum per turn, E maximum per turn is equals to, this is the RMS value into root 2, it will give us 6.28 into pi into F like that. If you want only E maximum, bring this terms also here, this is. If you want E maximum per phase, just take here per phase, that's it, E maximum per phase. Like that, you have to convert whatever they asked. If you know everything about this EMF equation, you can convert easily, you can give the answer easily. Otherwise, you may give you only this answer. Be careful. During the, during the practice, during the preparation, you have to write like this, everything. You have to do some practice on this. Then after, you can get easily. Right? So this is generally. But finally, we are using short pitch winding. We are using short pitch winding. That's why some KP is there. We are using distributed winding. For distributed winding, some distribution factor is there. That's why, that's why this value is multiplied with KP and KD. This value multiplied with KP and KD. Of course, every values are multiplied with KP and KD. The the KP into KD, the multiplication of these two is called KW. KW nothing but winding factor. Pitch factor, distribution factor, winding factor. Based on that, we can, we can give the answers. And here, the KP, KD is very, 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 very important. 100% they will ask you a question from... This synchronous machine in your KPTCL, AE as well as JE in both. Okay, so this is generally just a, a synchronous generator, alternator, EMF equation. Okay, okay, so if they given that, if I used full pitch winding, if you used full pitch winding, then KP is equal to 1. If you used concentrated winding, then KD is equal to 1. So if you used a concentrated and full pitch winding, there is no KPKD because its value 1, that is the EMF equation of transformer. In transformer, we are using full pitch concentrated winding. For full pitch, KP is equals to 1. For concentrated, KD is equals to 1. It's clear. Are you okay, guys? Are you clear? So this is generally the EMF equation of alternators. Like uh, we have a many uh, well explained concept here in our video classes, in our live classes. Live classes already going on for KPTCL examination. Already many people already joined. Who are not joined till now? Who are not started preparation till now? Uh, try to call to these numbers. These numbers are there. Okay. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. I will be there only. You can call and take admission if you want. If you want to prepare your own, your uh, wish, no problem. But prepare well. Don't waste your time. This is really a golden chance. Utilize this chance. That is important. Okay. Thank you. I wish you very all the best.